Hey, it is Cody from the Keepers of Nerdum. Hope you guys are doing well. I uh, wanted to talk for a minute about the thing that feels like we we don't really all want to talk about. You know, some YouTubers are starting to really bring it up as it's gotten worse and worse. And I finally saw someone today that that said the thing that's I think in the background of our minds. Um, let's talk about Halo Infinite for a little bit. So, it has been in a state of interestingness, right? It, it released and everybody really was excited. But if you started paying attention, uh, the game had good graphics. The gameplay was solid. It felt like a return of form. We were in a good shape. We were, we were really in a good shape. But then you started looking around and realizing there's modes missing. There's not as many, in some ways, guns. But it's better than some of the stuff like Halo 4 and 5 just because... They had more guns, but it wasn't really anything super different. So you just had guns for the sake of guns. So this this was a good change to that in some ways. But then what we got was a game that had some serious issues, was lacking things. Uh, their season was going to last six months. I'm like, Man, that is a long time. We had some special events, really good stuff. Like, example, the, the Tenrai event. Awesome, awesome suit, awesome all that. Um... Several of the little other ones, the the Steam, the Cyberpunk stuff, and then the, uh, can you remember the other one? It was like a tactical one. And it, there was a really good, good idea, great concept. Uh, we also, you know, at the very beginning realized this game has a struggle with, how to put it, just <sighs> XP grinding. At first it was too little, and then they boosted it, and we realized we could boost really fast, and we got done, and I was done with the first Battle Pass in December. And all of a sudden, you look around and realize there's nothing else in this game to do because there's no overarching progression thing that's a big reward system. So there's nothing. There's just nothing. And so, you know, we've been waiting, and we've been waiting. And they still, you know, they said they wouldn't fix, like, the cyberpunk glowy bits on your head, the the spike and then the, the visor thing until season two. I'm not even sure if it got fixed. I need to look. But it took them months to fix something that should take you an hour at best, maybe? Just to adjust placement? It shouldn't take that. And so something's wrong. Like something is off. And so season two comes around. Yeah, let's go through it a little bit. Uh, battle pass. Overall, really good. They're free stuff this time around. Much better, much improved. So, like, this time around, I think I'm actually just going to go free because I'm fine with it. The stuff I'm getting for free is going to be great for my Rakshasa armor. It's going to look good. It'll be fine. And it'll be fun. Uh, at some point, they're going to get Armor Core customization, which I thought was supposed to be immediately so we could actually share colors, visors, and helmets. Not so much yet, so we'll see. I'm still th putting it as a positive, but if it's months down the road... No, it's a negative. Uh, do, do, do. They started with an event immediately. Great free stuff. Awesome. I love the helmet from that. I'm mean, running on Rock Shasta right now. And so uh, then we got to also talk about uh, Last Spartan Standing came out with this. Last Spartan Standing is their version of a battle royale. The idea being that you have so many lives and then you're out of the game and it's just you versus everybody else. Uh, cool concept. There's some issues with it. There's <laughs> the biggest issue we find with this is the map is massive for it. And the, side note, both the new maps are really cool. They're they are very good, but it's a they use the big team battle map for it, and it's it's just so big. And then randomly, everything's super big. You can't find anybody, and then all of a sudden, someone is right behind you because they spawned right behind you, or. <sighs> It's just weird. Some of it may be cloaking, but it's also the fact that you can just get cloaks over and over and over and over again and over shields, and then that person just wins. Um, it's, there's a lot of little balance things inside of that. The, uh, mm -mm -mm, how to how to describe all the, that system and scenario. It just feels like it, it really makes it very hard to compete because if someone sees you first, there's a very high chance, especially with what feels like hackers, they will gun you down with their pistol that is machine gun pistol and auto hit. It's very frustrating. Like that's something that they've got to get figured out soon because they're saying there's no cheating. There's no cheating. There's been cheating. There's a lot of cheating. 
It's ridiculous. We see it all the time and it's just so frustrating. So frustrating. Not okay. Um, the other thing that's really strange that started happening and we're in play in Fiesta at the moment and it, it's doing it everywhere it seems like where guns will fire explosive type weapons and their their explosion effects will continue keep going and so all of a sudden they, they release this this season two patch that they've had six months to get ready and now somebody shoots a pistol at you not even an electric pistol a disruptor they just shoot a pistol and your screen will still be flickering and going crazy as it's happening over and over, even though you're not being shot. So like you'll, they'll shoot you one or two times, you hide behind cover and it'll still react as though you're being shot. It's super weird. It's super annoying. And so you have to actually visually look up at your shields instead of just having that cursory either glance or just knowledge of, Hey, there's something up above me that is saying, Hey, I am doing this and mm, not okay. It's, it's a very frustrating thing that they've got to fix soon, and the stuttering that's happening is even worse than before. It's almost like they patched everything and said, we fixed it, we fixed it, and made it worse. And so, uh, season season two, concept, really good. Uh, the implementation, not shockingly, was really bad. Because it seems like 343 just doesn't have a good handle on this game, and it's really sad and frustrating because I love... When I first started this game, I love it. Like, I loved it. It was good. It was solid. It was a game worth playing. But as it stands, we've seen it just not progress. They are doing more with Master Chief Collection than they are Halo Infinite, as far as actually putting in time and effort to get it going. It's just not, it's not in a good state. And so they're going to lose players, as they already have over these past six months, because there's nothing exciting other than there should be, like, Season 2 should be really exciting. And for us serious players, we're like, yes, Season 2, new stuff to play. But for people that don't care about Halo, they're like, eh. Even the events, like, it draws them back in for a little bit, maybe. But the player counts online have been dropping for PC. It's just been really unsolid. Not not a good system we've got going on here. Yeah. I think that's the thing that not everybody really wants to acknowledge, and especially the, the really positive people of, oh, this game is in, I'm having so much fun, but when you get down to the brass tacks, it's it's messing itself over. It doesn't have the features it needs. The fact that Forge still isn't a thing, the fact that custom games is still kind of jankety, uh, it's not in a good state, which is really sad, because this game has been in development for a really long time, and six months in between these things, they can't patch things very quickly. It's just not in a good spot. And I am I hate that because I love Halo. I, I love all of these games, but this is a game that has serious concerns, serious issues on what it's, what it's doing. And it, it needs... <laughs> they need to hire another 15, 20 people, apparently, to get this game up and running because... I would love to spend money in this game, but I don't really want to give them any money because they don't deserve it. When the best feature of your shop or your your game is your shop, you've got a serious problem. When you've got that as your main draw, it's not good. And even then, they had to drop prices because people were complaining. Seriously? You give us a free-to-play game that barely works. Your shop is super expensive to the point where people don't want to buy your stuff. And so you have to drop prices. And even then, sometimes they're a little too expensive for what you're getting. Especially considering, like, you pay $10 for a battle pass. And now, like, if you keep buying the battle passes, you could just keep buying them. And if you don't buy any other skins and stuff. But that's the thing. It's, it's one of those deals where it's just... It's not worth it. You pay $10 for an entire battle pass, but then pay $12 for one customization section? No. 100 tiers worth of rewards, with usually most tiers having two things. Or three or four items, maybe six if you're lucky, for more cost. Just doesn't make sense. They could be making hand over fist in this game. So I, I think that's the reality of it, is Halo Infinite, great concept of a game. Implementation, not there, not good. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm curious. What are your thoughts on Halo Infinite? Do you still play it? If you enjoy it, let me know. Because you know what? What is it that really s- sings to you? Because there are things that sing to me as well. You know the the combat when it's working is awesome, but when it's not working, it's not awesome. The the customization actually I really enjoy. I love the armor core system. Ironically, everybody seems to be complaining about it, but I enjoy the fact that here you have this suit, customize it now. I love the concept of, all right, here's here's your visor colors, and you can put helmets on different armor cores. Cool. Good. Also, side note, where's Hayabusa? Where's the Hayabusa armor? Like the the helmet. We need that for our Tenrai armor, cause, or your eye core. Cause that would be cool. So, I don't know. What's your thoughts? What's What's the good? What's the bad? Are you still playing? Take care.